I want to bring up Simka from Visuals and Screen Printing. She's going to talk about what she did during this term. And so give it up for Simka. It's, it's hard coming up here and talking about what you did. So give it up for the young people that are going to speak. Contour drawings, uh, figure drawings, still life. And then we also were able to do individual projects uh, in which people worked with, experimented with all different kinds of mediums, including markers and graphite pencils and charcoal. Uh, what I decided that I really liked to do was uh, charcoal. And so I experimented a lot with charcoal and tried to uh, really experiment with portraits and color and shading, which uh, we'll see. This is Gianna, uh, we were doing a portrait. And this is one of my self-portraits. So I kind of had never really taken drawing before, so I was really excited to work with a new medium and see what it was like. And this class really helped me and build my portfolio and whatnot. I was really excited. It's called um, Beauty Filled Anthem. <laughs> All right, so more you're ready. I'm ready. I'm happy you are. Come on, ready, bro. Alright, since so Doug's ready, I'm ready. Okay. Um, you sung souls into existence. So, silence tremble. You composed, I listen, though, world downs gutters. Y'all streams. Oh, how wicked our hearts are. But I see hope. I've seen things, so many things. So many things that don't compare to your beauty, beautiful song, sing, sings through ignorance, though some things cannot be changed. For one may gain holy wisdom and still the urge for worldly things. That's dangerous. Beautiful song. How about you sing songs of freedom? For we're doomed to days we see tombs, so for Psalms and scriptures, we read them, we learn them. We jot them, but we don't follow them, so I cry beautiful song. I die beautiful song, I try beautiful song, but I try plenty. So I drown sorrows from bottles, I empty regrets. Only one I have is that I have one. Fearless stamped on my forehead as I forfeit. I leave life for false persona. I live, I forget, but there's one thing I don't forget. I don't forget to fill the beauty-filled anthem with satire, tired contradiction. I must admit it's kind of catchy. All it needs now is a hook from Child Fishing in America by Richard Brodigan. It's surely to become a hit record. So next up, we're gonna bring Fab Lab to stage. Then we started redesigning the AS2.U website. So, uh, what our first project was is to redesign the Fabatory website in particular. Uh, so we had a basic template of what we wanted and we kind of looked at it and decided what aspects of the website that was already there that we wanted to keep. And then Alex and I uh, started making our own versions of the website. And so we went through tons of different processes in which uh, we changed the background of the the background image, no image, no background image, the colors, different shapes, all different kinds of stuff like that. And we're still working on it today. And now we're also working on the photo mem website and editing that. Uh, eventually we'll have the whole website will be redone, including the home page, which is this is what it looks like now, and then this is what Gabby redesigned it to look like. Uh, we're, we have a couple of different options. We're still in the process of figuring out which one we like best. Uh, so, uh, my whole goal is for everyone who takes my class to be able to make a beat on their own from start to finish, from, you know, laying down the tracks to putting the uh, behind 
scene stuff, you know, strings, guitar, whatever you use. So whatever's in your head, I know a lot of people have beats in their head, just like a lot of writers have stories in their head. A lot of people who have the inclination to make beats. It's stuck in your head and you just don't know how to get it out. A lot of people bang it out on the table, but I'm gonna take that, what you bang out on the table, and put it in the digital form so we all can hear it. So that's my goal. As the bell rings, I meant to match out to solve problems. I think that what the answer is, I gotta make simple. Sometimes can't even straight points. Games gotta be another good. That was the answer, so I made the teacher so proud. That's why I'm smart, because I paid that attention. I was a star, so that's the test of the A. It's just so accurate. I was a prize. Uh, five young people along with Caitlin Malloy and myself designed the mural based on the school's motto, moving lives in, in the right direction. <laughs> So, the image is of a young child holding a compass, and from the compass, you can see, sort of, um, rays are coming out and landing near other young people, and this symbolizes the effect that this school has on the children they work with. Soon after we were approached by Valley Day, an online software company, Adira, approached us and asked if, asked if we could do a mural within their office space. Again, five young people, along with Josh Baptista and myself, took a design from their website, altered it so that it would be more fitting for a 34-foot wall in their office. You can just look at this for a second. Yeah, it does. So, this was a great opportunity because it gave our students a chance to work with a client to go back and forth with designs, communicate with them, um, and it was a very professional environment. Do you want to say? And this is level two. Level two. So the second level has like, um, oh, this is what they brainstorm. This is like slot machine lockers in the hallway, and like they give you a random effect that can shoot you into the ceiling like a cannon. And um, the, the minions are supposed to kind of be like on top kind of wandering around and they fall down. Um, this is the second boss, it's um, Junior and Dirty Bubble. And they kind of like roll out of this clay and like you, you can jump up on these bookshelves and like when you jump on their head enough times they can like smash together and turn into Super Dirty Bubble. <laughs> and um, it, he's harder. <laughs> That's the clay <laughs> Tabletop squad based war game set in a spells and swords fantasy universe in which three warring factions, the fanatically religious goth human empire, when I say goblin, um, <laughs> self absorbed elvic city states, and the sadistic goblin hordes vie for control over the newly discovered magical amplifying substance Azarin. To start a game of Azarin, you must first construct the field of battle out of hexagonal flower like pieces that come with it. These represent grassy, rocky, and sandy terrain, each with different effects on your heroes. Then place the Azurin space in the middle. Gray space with a blue middle thingy. Um, it and your fortress spaces at the edges of the pre-made squad. Wow. Uh, <laughs> then pick one of the pre-made squads, each with their own different heroes and three main races. The humans! 
most stubborn and the winner of the most armor. This translates into them having the most health points. Regardless of the thief who's standing right there. Uh, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Yeah. That's what they kind of look like, minus the scribbliness. Um. <laughs> so this year, I was brought on as project manager to oversee this um, project, and I've been at AC20 since 2009, so it was very exciting for me to um, come from being a student to actually teaching other people and actually running a project on my own. So um, the other students on this project were uh, Fernando, uh, James, and uh, Donna Hang, who isn't here who um, went off to college. Um, and basically what we were doing is going down to Kennedy Plaza and photographing and interviewing people um, who wanted to be photographed and interviewed and kind of trying to capture their story, trying to figure out who they were and why they were in Kennedy Plaza. Um, so we ended up with these beautiful portraits. Um, we had 25 in total. Three of them were taken by me, two of them were taken by Scott, and the other 20 were completely taken by the students. And um, so it was pretty huge to, um, at the end have this um, showcase at Moses Brown Gallery, which was back in October, um, and have this work up, um, and it was amazing work, amazing quality work, and that pretty much 90% of the work was shot by the students, and pretty much the film and everything was developed by the students, and printed by me, but still shot by the students. Right? Yeah. Okay, she's going to tell you a little bit. Hey, guys! <laughs> Okay, so um, first off, what Gianna was just talking about, about the self-portraits, is actually one of my first paintings ever that I've ever done. And um, it was, I was really excited because um, Gianna was always nagging me um, about joining the painting class. And I'm like, I can't paint, I can't draw. The only thing I came in drawing is fruits because I took a drawing class and I left after fruits. So <laughs> when I got there, I was like painting apples and pears. And she's like, stop painting apples, take my class. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I took it and I actually realized that you know, I have a hidden talent and I um, really, really, really like painting. One of the skills that painting um, taught me is actually, that's one of my big things, is to, is patience. Um, here's another, yeah, but you see my name. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but one thing that the painting class taught me is patience um, because because I'm so artistic and I love to um, sing and I love to dance, um, I usually rush in everything. I'm a makeup, I hear a beat and I make a song on the spot. Or um, I hear a song and I start dancing and just busting out moves and then I do it over and over. Um, but painting, I have to wait for the paint to dry and then I have to go and do it again and I have to come the next day and finish the painting. So I guess, I guess it made me slow down and actually realize um, that sometimes I might need help, um, to ask for help, um, and that I'm not good at everything, and that, um, <laughs> and that um, we need to be patient, and I guess give it up for painting for that. Yeah. 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 Need people to stand up and push back? 